Explain to me what Bill Gates was talking about when he was saying that you can't do trucks. Well, what, what was? Yeah, he didn't know what you're talking about. Why did he say that then? Like, why would someone? I don't know. Probably somebody told him that, and you know, he's he just, just not, repeated it. He's just not that close to the physics of it, and so it was because I, I don't remember... think he's ill-intentioned here. He just right. doesn't know what he's talking about. But why say it then? I mean, you think about a guy who's so know. involved in technology, you would think you would only talk about things you understand. I don't know, it's weird. I also heard that at one point he had a big short position against Tesla, which was kind of, I don't know if that's true or not, but it seems weird. Uh, people I know who know, know the situation well, they, they, they said, are you sure? They said, yeah, he had a big sh short position against Tesla, which obviously didn't work out too well. <laughs> um, but anyway, I, I think he's generally got good intentions here. I think he's probably just not, um, well, I don't hate Bill Gates, to be clear. I think he just probably doesn't know. The, the science. Yeah, know. I just thought it was odd because I knew that you guys were developing yeah. the semi. I'm but like, we, we have prototypes that, yeah, that, that actually drive. That actually drive. Like, yeah. we've used them to transport cars and stuff. It's not yeah. like a, some, like, it's not like a unicorn. Like, it was like it was Pegasus or something. I was like, what are you talking about? We have, literally have prototypes that work. What kind of mileage do those things get? Uh, well, these are prototypes. So they'll be like, right. you know, I don't know, about 300 miles, something like that. And so um, what... But we, what, we drive them back and forth from... Fremont to uh, Reno, you know, for tra transporting stuff. Um, but generally, when semi truck drivers, when the, when it's a, a human being driving them, they drive for long periods of time, far more than three hundred miles, right? No, actually, most but trucks they don't. Know. All right. So when they decide, when this is your policy, when these workers are worried, and do you feel that they have a? I want to just get back to that. Put yourselves in their shoes. Do you feel they have a good reason to be worried? Um, and do you feel a duty to pay them and make sure they're okay, despite the fact that you don't agree with how they feel about COVID versus how you feel about Let's just COVID? move on. Just move on. That's what you want to do. Cara, I do not want to get into a uh, okay. debate All about right. COVID I want to know situation. Okay. All right. Okay. I want to finish up talking about- you want it in the podcast now, we can do it. Okay. What do you say? No, we don't. I don't want to end it. I just want to understand where you've got, but I do. I feel like I understand where you are. So yeah. one of the and things... And I should say, we, we've also spent quite a lot of time with the Hobbit epidemiology team mm -hmm. doing antibody studies. Tesla makes the vaccine machines for CureVac. Gates said something about me not knowing what, what it's doing. It's like, hey, knucklehead, we actually make the vaccine machines for CureVac, that company you invested in seems like you have a lot of passion around this topic, like that you feel this has been blown and that there are better ways to do it, which is what you do in your other parts of your life, correct? Whether it's Tesla or yeah. SpaceX, the, the rockets aren't, aren't being reused, the cars aren't electric, the way we address viruses is irrational. It's very irrational. 